All right, guys, so how much fat was gained from doing the 10,000 calorie challenge? So first thing, we're going to have to look at the input, which is 10,000 calories minus my regular daily maintenance requirement, which is 3,200 calories, which equates out to a 6,200 calorie surplus. So at the time, we didn't fully understand why our bodies felt so hot, but now that I look back at the research, we understand that the thermic effect of food increases with extreme surpluses like that. So approximately an extra 1,500 calories were burned just from the thermic effect of our bodies being hot from all the excess food, changing our surplus down to 5,300 calories from the 6,200 calories. So the next thing is need. Need is individual from person to person. That being said, it's your non-exercise activity rate. So on average, per 1,000 extra calories added to a diet, 200 calories are burned from person to person. So 6,200 calories, which is a surplus, times 200 calories, which were burned extra from the need, divided by 1,000 equals our 1,240 calories burned from need. Plus we did walk um, alongside with that extra need. Which brings us to a new surplus of 4,060 calories, but only half of those calories can be stored as fat, bringing us to a 2,030 calorie surplus. But that equates to about a full half pound of fat because it takes 3,500 calories of a surplus to gain one pound of fat. So if we look at the entirety of the situation, only 32.7% of the 6,200 calorie surplus from the 10,000 calories will be stored as fat. But don't move on too quickly. I did average out my calories on the days before and the days following the challenge. You can see that by clicking the link in the description for how I led into the challenge. That being said, I added up all the daily calories, divided it by five, which led me to 3,666 calories approximately, which is my regular daily caloric intake. That being said, in my situation, since I averaged out my calories and prepared and followed up from the challenge, there was no fat gain. All right, ladies and germs, the morning after. Um, <laughs> my brother said it best. I'm not hungry at all this morning. Like, I'm probably, I'm gonna go to the gym right now. I'm gonna train some chest, but I'm gonna go fast. I have enough nutrients to last me for a while. So I'm not hungry at all. I'm gonna, gonna go to the gym, do my thing, burn off a few calories, and then for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna have probably some chicken, some whey, some lean meats some greens and that'll be it but that was it man i'm 209.6 this morning so that was 6.4 pounds heavier or so than yesterday so that's what that is um i'll catch you guys later thank you guys for tuning in all right guys i felt freaking great for my first session of the day um, felt strong for my chest, you know, 285 by four. I was I was tucking my elbows a little bit more, so um, as I progressed throughout the third and fourth set, so I was working on keeping the bar touching point lower, like on the lower sternum area, which will by default lower um, the elbows because elbows flaring on the bench is generally not optimal. That being said, the pump was great; it was feeling strong. This is the first thing I'm gonna have today. Uh, I was fasted for my workout. I'm just gonna have whey, chicken, and green beans. This is like a nightmare. This is like a nightmare. This, I'm gonna throw up right freaking now. This is terrible. All right, guys, I threw in a little bit of cardio to follow up my PM session, which consisted of delts side delts and rear delts to be specific, forearms, extensors, and calves, so just smaller muscle groups, followed up by about 15 minutes on the step mill. Give me an example. Right. So, spider curls. Yeah. You're only doing two sets for that, for biceps, and uh, the hammer curls with the rope. Yeah, so I would add, all right, say it one more time, man. Hey, Ziggy, 1818 best YouTube channel in Wisconsin. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>
man. I will talk to you later. All right, guys. That's a wrap for today. Um, yep. Just a little bit of chicken and greens. So that's that. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Aftermath from the 10K Calorie Challenge. Sucker. So, your boy, yesterday, woke up uh, 6.4 pounds heavier because of that 10K, but today, I woke up at 206 again, so we're back at... That being said, I am not hungry at all, like 0% hungry, but uh, I don't know, we'll probably take the cows to about 2,500-ish, so still like 1,000 calories plus the video. Aftermath of 10k. The morning after. <laughs> Alright y'all, um, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Uh, my metabolism's, you know, not my metabolism, but just my hunger is starting to come back. So, there it is. Some ground beef, some sweet potato. Watch a little bit of Jeff Nippard. Um, then I'm just gonna foam roll, stretch, and uh, probably call it a night after one more meal following that. So, starting to feel relatively closer to normal. But I'm going to keep those calories still um, still a little bit lower than what I would regularly do. But by tomorrow, we'll be fully back on the normal meal plan and the normal food intake for my, uh, for my gains. So <laughs> that's that. Um, check back with you guys in a little bit. Guys, I'm super cool doing this on my Saturday night. Check this out. Um, and I think it's important to remember that, oh, upper and lower chest muscles, there's only the pack regions of that muscle. <laughs> so as I see it, the movement...